the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has taken a significant step forward with the implementation of its Personal Data Protection Law PDPL, enacted through Royal Decree No. M19 on 16 September 2021 and subsequently amended by Royal Decree No. M148 on 27 March 2023, the PDPL represents Saudi Arabia's commitment to protecting the personal data of its residents and citizens. As the digital landscape continues to evolve, understanding the intricacies of this law is crucial for individuals and businesses operating within the kingdom. Key Milestones and Timeline The PDPL officially took effect on 14th of September 2023, introducing a new era of data privacy in Saudi Arabia. To facilitate a smooth transition, data controllers were granted a grace period until 14th September 2024 to align their operations with the law's requirements. This period allows entities to understand and implement necessary measures for compliance ensuring that personal data is handled in a secure and lawful manner. Scope and Applicability The PDPL applies to a broad range of sectors, reflecting its comprehensive approach to data protection. It is noteworthy for its national scope with specific considerations for integration within Saudi Arabia's wider legal and regulatory frameworks. This includes sector-specific data protection frameworks issued by authorities such as the Saudi Central Bank and the National Cybersecurity Authority. The Role of the Saudi Authority for Data and Artificial Intelligence The Saudi Authority for Data and Artificial Intelligence, SDIA, has been designated as the initial data regulator under the PDPL for at least the first two years following the law's enactment. SDIA will oversee its implementation and compliance with the possibility of transferring supervisory responsibilities to the National Data Management Office in the future. What constitutes personal and sensitive data? The PDPL defines personal data as any information that could directly or indirectly identify an individual encompassing a wide array of data types. Sensitive personal data is subject to stricter protections and includes details related to ethnic or tribal origins, religious beliefs, biometric and health data, among others. Registration, compliance and the role of data protection officers. The law introduces a potential requirement for data controllers to register with SDIA, which is expected to issue detailed rules regarding this process. Additionally, criteria have been established to determine when a data controller must appoint a data protection officer, particularly in scenarios involving large-scale processing of personal or sensitive data, data processing and international transfers. The PDPL outlines specific conditions under which personal data can be processed and transferred outside of Saudi Arabia. Consent is identified as the primary legal basis for data processing, with provisions for certain exceptions. The law also stipulates detailed requirements for the international transfer of personal data, including transfers to countries that offer an adequate level of data protection and under appropriate safeguards. Enforcement and penalties Violations of the PDPL can lead to significant consequences, including fines up to SAR 5 million imprisonment for up to two years or both. The law also mandates data breach notification requirements and delineates the responsibilities of data controllers in ensuring the security of personal data. As Saudi Arabia steps into the forefront of data protection with the enactment of the PDPL, understanding its provisions is essential for all stakeholders. This law not only strengthens the protection of personal data, but also positions the kingdom as a leader in privacy and data security in the region.